division. Division of up to 100 by 1 digits with a remainder. When we divide, we share into equal groups. 6 divided by 3. 6 sweets in 3 equal groups. Equal groups of 2. Or we can count up in 3s until we reach 6. 3, 6. We count 2 times. The answer is 2 and we can check by doing the opposite. 2 times 3 equals 6. That's correct. Sometimes we can't divide into equal whole numbers and we have a remainder. 47 divided by 2. Using place value, 47 is the same as 4 tens plus 7 ones. And we can try to split that number into two equal groups. If we split the tens and then try and split the ones. We have one remaining and we'd have to split that in half to keep the two groups equal. The value of the two equal groups is two tens and three ones, which is the same as 20 plus three or 23. And we have a remainder of one that we couldn't split. So the answer is 23 remainder one. If we can't divide easily, we can count up by the divisor until we get close to the number. What's 60 divided by 14? One group of 14 is 14. Two groups of 14, we add another 14 on, 28. Three groups of 14 plus another 14, 42. Four groups of 14 plus another 14, 56. And five groups of 14 plus another 14 equals 70. Four groups is below 60, but five groups is above 60. We can't split 60 into equal groups of 14 without going into fractions of a whole. So we make four equal groups of 14 and that's 56 and we have a remainder, 60 minus 56 or four. So our answer is four, remainder four. We can also use short division. 88 divided by 7. Using short division, divide one place value digit at a time starting from the left or the biggest value. 8 divided by 7 is 1 with a remainder of 1 and we line up our answer in the same place value column. We carry over the remainder to the next column. As each column to the left is 10 times bigger, the remainder is a multiple of 10 that we can add to the column. So 8 becomes 18. 18 divided by 7 is 2. Two sevens are 14 and we have a remainder of 4. If we get to the last column and there's a remainder, we can write it as part of the answer. R4 or remainder 4. So our answer is 12, remainder 4. With short division, everything is within your times tables. Remember, when we divide, we share into equal groups. Sometimes we can't divide into equal whole numbers and we have a remainder. We can count up by the divisor until we get close to the number. Or we can use our times tables and short division. It really helps to know your times tables when doing division.